Assalamualaikum and hi everyone, my lovely student. So, this video we are going to discuss checkpoint mathematics 1. So, have a look at this question 1. Calculate the difference between median and mode of the data above. So, first you need to identify the median and the mode. Okay, in order to identify the median, you need to arrange the data in um, ascending or descending order. So, 1, 1, 1, 2, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7. Then, check your answer. 1, 1, 1, 2, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7. Okay. What is the mode? The mode is the most uh, frequent. So, one occurred three times. So, this is the most. Most happen. So, mode is one. And median. What is median? Median is the middle data. So, you can do like this to identify the median. So, data in the middle is the median. So, median is 5. So, the question asks you to calculate the difference. So, 5 minus 1 goes to 4. So, the answer is C. Okay, question number 2. The diagram shows the cut of the same size. All the cut are put into a box. A cut is chosen at random from the box. What is the chance of getting a cut with a prime number? So, from all the cut here, you need to identify the prime number. So, the prime number is the prime number for the cut are 2, 7, 11, and 37. So, there is 4 cut with prime number. So, to calculate the um, the chance of getting the cut with prime number. So, prime number 4, total cut 8, then you need to simplify 1 over so the answer is D. Okay, question number three. The carpenter need P hours to make Q shoe racks. So how long does he need to make three shoe racks? So um, P hours to make Q shoe rack mean if one shoe rack so the time needed was P over Q. This is for 1. Now the question asks you to, uh, to calculate how long does he need to make 3. So, you need to times 3. So, the answer will be 3P over Q. So the answer is A. Question number 4. The diagram shows three cards P, Q and R. In each card, there is an algebraic expression in one variable. Which card gives the same expression after being simplified? So uh, you need to simplify each card first. So for card P, First, you need to expand this. So, I write it here. 3x minus 5x. Don't forget, negative, negative is positive. x, negative 2x plus 10. So, this is for cut P. For cut Q,
2x minus 4x minus 4. So here you'll get negative 2x minus 4. This is for cut Q. For cut R, so to expand this, we will get 2x plus 10 minus 4x. 2x minus 4x is negative 2x plus 10. So this is for cut R. As you can see, cut P and cut R give the same expression after being simplified. So answer B. For question 5, in a quadrilateral, each of two angles have a measure of 115 degree. If the measure of the third angle is 70, what is the measure of the remaining angle? As we know, quadrilateral have four sides so that the sum of the uh, interior angle for the quadrilateral is n minus 2 times 180, which is n is 4, number of side 4, so 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 times 180 is 360. So the remaining angle will be 360 minus 115 minus 115 minus 70. Then you will get 60. So the answer is A. Okay, for question 6, in the diagram, how many more small squares need to be shaded so that 4 over 5 of the small square are shaded? So, 4 over 5 times with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, all together got 10 squares. So, <coughs> it's equals to... It. So actually, um, you need to shade 8 squares. So in the question already, um, 3 squares shaded. So you need another 5 squares. So the answer is A. Okay, question number 7. Carla paid at Z for three carton of juice. So what is the price of five carton of juice? So exact for three carton mean for one carton x divided by three. So this is for one carton. If you want for five carton, so you need to time five. So, this is the answer. So, answer is C. Question number 8. If x plus 3y equals to 11 and 2x plus 3y equals to 13, then y. So, for this question, you can use either substitution or elimination method. So, first write the simultaneous linear equation like this ok we want to calculate the value of y so it's up to you for me I want to use elimination method and I want to eliminate y so minus x minus 2x is negative x 3y minus 3y so I eliminate this 11 minus 13 is negative 2 so the value of x is 2 
Now I substitute the value of x into the first equation. So 2 plus 3y equals to 11. So 3y equals to 11 minus 2, which is 9. So y equals to 9 over 3. So the answer is 3. So answer A. For question 9, n is a number when n is multiplied by 7. So n multiplied by 7 is 7n. And 6 is then added. So plus 6. The result is 41 equals to 41. Which of this equation represent this relation? So as you can see for the multiple choices, the answer is D. For question 10, A plus K plus K plus K can be written as, so obviously this is 5K. So the answer is B.